hell done, buddy Isaac. Here. Oh, my phone's about dead. This ain't my phone. My camera's about dead, so hopefully I'm gonna get this video in. Easter flares all over the hill right there. See them? Right there, some. Right there, some. That means Easter is here. Well, not only Easter, spring is here. How y'all doing? Now, I'm standing in a wet weather spring, apparently, because there's water just boiling up out of the ground. I'm just out here prowling through the woods today, seeing what I can see. Uh, Got to get this video in before my battery goes dead. Oh, man, this is a huh. So, uh, first thing I'd like to talk about today is the woolly worm. What was my prediction for the woolly worm this year? Let me go back about uh, fall. It was going to be terrible. It was saying that it was going to be a bad winter. Well, you know what? It was a bad winter. Eastern Kentucky, man. We got hit by three ice storms in one week just there about last month. And I mean, it was bad. We didn't have electric for seven days. <sighs> Sit at the house and just waiting. Which tree's going to fall next, Jim? You know? And uh, I ain't sure it's falling. Yeah, it's one of the worst winters I can remember in a long time. And I've had I've heard people say that it's the worst one that they can remember. You know, people have been here for years, you know what I mean? But that's that that Kentucky weather, right? Oh man. I'm standing in a swamp. <laughs> I got it. I got my shoe wet. Oh my socks. I still gotta walk well, walk up out of here and I got wet socks. That's gonna be fun. Hey How you doing there? Good night. Put you over here. Bro, I ate my back up there. I couldn't figure out what that was. Yeah, we've been going since about 8 o'clock this morning. Actually, about 7.30, wide open. Uh, I'm going to my camera up there just a little bit. It ain't pointed right. Can y'all see me? Good. Like y'all was going to say, yeah, and I can hear you. You know what I mean? Oh, man. But, yeah. We're just hoping that the uh, rest of the day is going to be wide open, too. But that's okay. I'm getting ready to turn that corner to where I can slow way down. Believe that. I've got my turn signal on right now. I mean, I can see the road. And it's going to start slowing way down, I'm telling you. Mark it down. Then we can start doing a lot more videos and stuff. But, oh, man. Yep. Yeah. What was that? Bird. You hear all kinds of stuff when you're out in the floor. Ain't nothing like getting out in the wilderness. And just sit down and listen to what you can hear. You'll hear stuff, all kinds of stuff. You'll see stuff. And we're going to try to get out and do a lot of that this year. I would have done it today, but I've got another thing I've got to do this evening, which uh, I kind of dread, but it'll all be behind us. And we'll get through it. But we'll be all right. Oh, man. Yeah, it's been, it's been a moment. It's been a morning. But I'll tell you what I did do this morning. I went through a drive through this morning. Me and my daughter we was out. And I said, Why not like to have a big chicken biscuit, wouldn't you? Yeah. I said, I can tell you what kind of day it's going to be. It's going to be terrible. And uh, we went through that drive through and I ordered us two of them chicken biscuits. And I got up there to Wander and she handed them out there. And she said, Have a good morning. I said, Well, you mean a good morning. I said, I, I ain't paid you. She said, Well, today's free chicken and biscuit day. I said, Really? <laughs> I didn't know that. So that was a nice little pleasant surprise this morning. And, uh, oh man, had a few more pleasant surprises this morning. It might be a pretty good day if I can just get over the hump that's coming up, you know what I mean? Oh man, gotta go do a little work this evening. And I'm hoping that I can get done pretty quick. I, I want to be home. And, uh, especially on the weekends, I like to be at the house. And, uh, hopefully, hopefully before long, uh, we can do it. I see flares coming up everywhere. Oh man. Yeah, it's muddy. It's been raining. I ain't got my garden peeled up yet. I'm hoping to get it pretty soon. Yeah, it's pretty nice out in here. I kinda like this. Woods, forest everywhere. You can't walk to the treetops if you fell out, but hey, you know. I had one hit the back of my house. I got to fix it. Knocked a hole in my side. I still ain't fixed it yet. I keep saying I'm going to, but where it's at, it's going to be a little bit hard to fix, I think. But we'll be all right. We can fix it. You can do anything you put your mind to it. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to try to make a paper mache bee repellent. 
and uh, we'll try to record that, and uh, we're gonna see how that works out. And uh, I I'll show y'all what I'm talking about. I'll put a video up here next two or three days about it and show y'all what to do, and, and we're gonna test it and see if it works. And I got a place to put one. I'm telling you, I got one place. You walk around behind my house, and my corner is just swarming with big red wasps. I'm gonna try to see if this will run them off. I think it will. You gotta have a balloon, paper mache, and a needle. That's all you need. Oh man. Yeah, we're going to see, try that out, and we're going to put up a how-to video about it. I'll tell you what, I'm going to get up off here. I need to get to the house, and I am pressed for time today. I just wanted to bring you all a little bit of a woolly worm update, and uh, hopefully we're going to get us a woolly worm this year, and we get to go to the woolly worm races in Batable, Kentucky. And uh, if I do go, you know, I'm planning on winning it all, but you never know. And I went one year, didn't have a woolly worm with me, but I went one year and watched it, and it was fascinating. They take that little woolly worm, they put him on a string, and they start saying, let's go, you know, start yelling at it, yelling at it, and cheering it on and everything, because apparently the louder you yell, the faster they go. That's what I was told. And I'm fascinated by this. Watch that woolly worm climb up that string, and the first one that gets to the top wins. And they have heat races. And then they have the big final race, and then the final race is a chance to win $100. You really want to win, you win a hundred dollars. Well, we'll see. <laughs> it's, it's pretty awesome. Woolly Worm Festival, Batable, Kentucky. And uh, hopefully there'll be a lot of festivals we can go to this year. Everything's starting to calm down. Everything's kind of getting back to normal. And uh, we'll see uh, We'll see how things work out. Maybe we get to go this year. And uh, about three days of it. I'm probably going to go all three days because, you know, I'm going to win the heat races and all that stuff. I'm planning on it now. I ain't giving you a 100% guarantee, but we'll see what happens. But I'm going to get out there for you. It's Buddy Isaac. Y'all remember to wash them hands like you don't like them. Social distance like Sasquatch. Take care of one another. Tell each other hi every now and then. It makes a difference. And I'm out. How about, Bill? I stepped ankle deep in that water. It's going to be a fun walk out of here.